This is a poem I've always really appreciated and just wanted to share in case you hadn't heard it, especially for a show like Combat Story. It says, "'Twas the night before Christmas, he lived all alone, in a one-bedroom house made of plaster and stone. I had come down the chimney with presents to give, and to see just who in this home did live. I looked all about, a strange sight I did see, no tinsel, no presents, not even a tree." No stocking by the fire, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of a far distant land. With medals and badges, awards of all kind, a sobering thought soon came to my mind. For this house was different, unlike any I'd seen. This was the home of a U.S. Marine. I'd heard stories about them. I had to see more. So I walked down the hall and pushed open the door. And there he lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor in his one-bedroom home. He seemed so gentle, his face so serene, not how I pictured a U.S. Marine. Was this the hero of whom I just read, curled up in his poncho, a floor for his bed? His head was clean-shaven, his weathered face tan. I soon understood this was more than a man, for I realized the families that I saw that night owed their lives to these men who were willing to fight. Soon around the nation, the children would play, and grown-ups would celebrate on a bright Christmas day. They all enjoyed freedom each month and all year, because Marines like this one lying here. I couldn't help wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in a land far from home. Just the very thought brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees and I started to cry. He must have awoken, for I heard a rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. With that, he rolled over, drifted off into sleep. I couldn't control it. I continued to weep. I watched him for hours, so silent and still. I noticed he shivered from the cold night's chill. So I took off my jacket, the one made of red, and covered this marine from his toes to his head. Then I put on his t-shirt of scarlet and gold with an eagle globe and anchor emblazoned so bold and although it barely fit me i began to swell with pride and for one shining moment i was marine corps deep inside i didn't want to leave him so quiet in the night this guardian of honor so willing to fight but half asleep he rolled over and a voice clean and pure said carry on santa it's christmas day all secure one look at my watch and i knew he was right merry christmas my friend semper fi and good night and of course you've probably heard variations of this Uh, from what i can research this is attributed to james schmidt who was a lance corporal at the time stationed in dc back in 1986 and something that i found online is that um, the way that lance corporal schmidt at the time describes this he says while lance corporal serving as a battalion counter sniper at the marine barracks in dc under commandant px kelly and battalion commander dj myers i wrote this poem to hang on the door of the gym in the BEQ. While Colonel Myers came upon it, he read it and immediately had copies sent to each department at the barracks and promptly dismissed the entire battalion early for Christmas leave. The poem was placed that day in the Marine Corps Gazette, distributed worldwide, and later submitted to Leatherneck Magazine. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've uh, I've looked at this every year since my battalion commander in ROTC when I was in college. I was probably 19 or 20 first gave it to me. This is back in the late 90s. I've always felt it's got a special place even before we started deploying the way we do now, but it just means even more today. So with that, that. Hope you all have a great Christmas holiday and think about those who are still overseas.